Hey guys, Evan here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add customer reviews to your Shopify store. Customer reviews are very important and they are very useful in helping you generate more sales because people like to see social proof before they go ahead and buy a product. And if they see that other people are leaving positive reviews, that can greatly increase your chance of actually selling your product on your Shopify store. So the way we can add customer reviews to our Shopify store is by going to our Shopify dashboard. And we wanna click on the left-hand side where it says apps. And it's gonna take us to the apps page. And what we wanna do is go to the top where we see the search bar and we want to use search for product reviews. And we're gonna see this under the app section where it says product reviews app. Let's go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, it's a product reviews application by Shopify themselves so that you know that this is going to integrate into Shopify easily. We can see that this is exactly what this is going to look like under the reviews tab here. So you can see all of your reviews in the table form like this. You can also reply to specific reviews. So when someone leaves a review on your Shopify store, you can go ahead and give a response to that. So maybe they really enjoyed your product so you can give a thanks to them. And that's also very useful in helping you generate more sales because when they see that you're responsive, whether or not they leave a good or bad review, if you're responsive, then people appreciate that more as opposed to just having a bad review left on your site and giving absolutely no response to that. So basically you get the idea. It'll help build trust to the person that maybe wants to buy a product from your store. And so basically the customer reviews show up right below your product here, or you can place them wherever you want. But basically they'll show up like this. There'll be star ratings and people can leave a response under that star rating as well. You can also control which reviews show up on your stores. So if someone leaves a review that is not accurate or that you think is misleading, you can go ahead and choose to hide that review if you want. And I'm not saying that you should remove bad reviews. If someone does leave a bad review, you should just leave it up. Because again, if you are genuinely selling a good product, you're gonna get those five-star reviews anyway. Because if you just have a Shopify store that is just five-star reviews all across the board, people are gonna look at that and they're not gonna trust that because that looks pretty fake. I don't think there's any product on Amazon that has completely five-star reviews across the board. So you don't just wanna remove all your bad reviews, but there is that option available to you if there was a circumstance where you needed to use it. So again, if you wanna add this app, you can click on where it says add app. And basically it's going to verify that you want to link this app to your store and this app is made by Shopify themselves so this app is completely trustworthy you can go ahead and click on where it says install app on the top right here and we can see that it says now that you've installed the product reviews app you can add product reviews and ratings to your online store so what we want to do now is go to the left hand side here and click on our online store and click on where it says themes then let's click on where it says customize once we have our theme editor open, we want to go to our catalog. Let's just select this basic product I created here, which is a t-shirt. And let's say we want to add reviews right under this product. What we can do is go under the product information on the left-hand side here, and we want to click on where it says add block. Then we want to scroll down and click on the reviews under the apps here. And right here, we can see now that it says customer reviews. So this is where the customer reviews are going to show up once people actually start writing a review. So if you click on where it says write a review, and let's just say their name is Bob, and let's just type in an email. Say we want to give this a four-star rating. Let's just say great t-shirt. And let's just say I really liked this t-shirt and click on where it says submit review. If we go ahead and refresh the page, we can now see that it's going to show up right under the customer reviews. We can see that there's a, a total of one review and it's the test review that we just created right here. So this is how it's going to show up on your site when people actually give this product a review. And if we go ahead and click on save at the top right, it's going to go ahead and save that page and we can go back to our main dashboard. And if we go back to the left hand sidebar here and click on apps, let's click on where it says product reviews right here. And now we can see that test review that we just created right here. So what we can do is we can see when this review was created, which was April 19th, which is today. And then we can also see the status, which is published, which means that this review is currently public. If we go up to the top left here and click on settings, so at the top here, we can see that it's set to auto publish, which means that new reviews are checked for spam and then they're automatically published to the website. Now, if you want to disable this, you can go ahead and click on where it says disable, which means that you must manually publish all the reviews that are made on the website. You can also have an option to send an email 
when a review is submitted to your site. So you'll receive an email in your inbox whenever someone leaves a review on your website. You can change the star icon color, so you can either use your theme color or you can use a custom color if you want. Just be aware that these are for vintage themes only and they will have no effect on the 2.0 themes for Shopify. And of course you can modify how your review listing layout looks on your website. If you want, you can change the border color, you can change the divider color, the padding, and the amount of reviews that appear per page. You can modify the review listing text, so you can change all of this text if you want. And you can also modify the review form as well. And here you can modify the badge text, but again, this has no effect on online stores in the 2.0 themes, so just keep that in mind. But if everything looks good, you can go ahead and click on where it says save. It's gonna save all those changes for you. And then going back to the product reviews, if we want to select this test review that we just created and we wanna delete it, what we can do is make sure that this is checked, click on bulk actions and click on delete selected reviews. Anyway, that is how to add customer reviews to your Shopify web store. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please leave a like. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this helped you out.